We begin this evening with team coverage as the protests against police brutality in the wake of the killing of 45-year-old George Floyd in Minneapolis by a white police officer continue. In downtown San Diego, the first and largest started this morning. Uh, yeah, this is on Broadway, shutting down Broadway for a time. It continues right now. That's where we find Fox 5's Andrew Numora. Andrew, what are you seeing? Well, right now from our vantage point, Misha, things have been somewhat peaceful down the street here on the corner of State and Broadway. That is where you see that large gathering of protesters appearing to face off with police. Uh, they are right outside the Hall of Justice here. Uh, what we got from uh, SPDD, SPD's uh, Twitter feed is that they are deeming this an unlawful assembly. They are asking people to disperse uh, from the area. And that's why we actually heard uh, some tear gas canisters go off a little bit earlier, uh, maybe an hour or so uh, after we first got here. But since we first got here, this crowd has significantly gotten a lot bigger. Uh, police tell us that the reason why they are deeming this an unlawful uh, assembly because a little bit earlier, protesters started to throw water bottles and rocks at authorities, also vandalizing cars. But here is some video of when protesters were on the I-5 freeway, uh, when they shut down both sides of the freeway. Uh, of course, they were met with some resistance, they, but they broke through and was able to get on the freeway, stop traffic there. Uh, police managed to actually stop them at some point. As, it, as you can see in this video, they start to kneel. Uh, uh, protesters start to kneel in one area. Uh, but back here live, you know, this is protests. These protests are after weeks of unrest due to, just like you said, Misha, 45-year-old uh, George Floyd died in police custody after a white cop uh, kneeled on his neck uh, for more than seven minutes. Uh, but not just that, these protesters are out also uh, protesting just unrest altogether uh, with police brutality, extremely uh, when it comes to black lives, black lives matter. Uh, it was we, as we know, we've had this COVID-19 pandemic going on for the last couple of months now. We know that uh, blacks and minorities are disproportionately uh, uh, affected by COVID-19. Add in, uh, well, a couple of weeks ago, Ahmaud Arbery uh, getting shot uh, to death, uh, basically in Brunswick, Georgia. And then you have Breonna Taylor in Louisville, Kentucky. And then you have this right here with George Floyd. Uh, but right now we are going to keep an eye on these protesters for the most part, see if anything changes. We'll bring you the latest on air and online on Fox5SanDiego.com. For now, we're live here in downtown. I'm Andrew Numura. Fox 5 News. And Andrew, before we let you go, can you, um, I know you're a little bit farther back from, <clears throat> excuse me, from the actual crowd there. Can you get a sense of what they're actually doing? Are they sitting down, uh, yelling, chanting? Like, what are they doing there? And about how many people can you guess? I know it's started at, <clears throat> excuse me, 10 this morning, but um, give us just a little bit more of the scene there, what you're seeing. Well, what, what we're seeing is people armed with signs, Black Lives Matter signs, chanting, uh, no justice, no peace, uh, Black Lives Matter. Uh, from the most part, from what I can tell and what can I see from this vantage point uh, is that they're just ha talking to police, uh, sometimes up in their faces, uh, demanding justice uh, for George Floyd for the most part. Um, but once again, what we heard from police is that things did get a little dicey. Uh, people were throwing rocks and bottles. Of course, this is according to police, uh, but that is what's the situation right now. All right, Andrew Namora, Life Force Downtown, will continue to monitor the situation. Also, um, you know, that protest starting early this morning, and then there were um, people that went to the, tried to block the freeway, the five freeway, that's open, but there are now reports that um, the Coronado Bridge, both sides shut down for a time. So be aware of that. Similar